Welcome to Fire Emblem. All right, everybody. It has been about a month and a half since we last left off, um, and we were with Ellie Wood, if you all recall. Hopefully, you do. Um, so here we are going to begin Chapter Twelve. Um, I'm still a little bit sick, so hopefully, my voice acting is okay. After speaking with the village magistrate, Elliewood and company set their sights on Laos. The road from Foray to Laos passes through Santa Ruz. Elliewood suspects his missing father must have visited Santa Ruz en route to Ostia. Elliewood arranges a meeting with the local ruling lord to see what he can learn. Okay, so we're meeting with a with a lord, dude. Oh, I think we're going to be meeting Hector here. Birds of a feather. Okay, Santa Ruz Castle. Looking pretty dope. What? Elliewood is here? Yes. He has set camp up on a hill south of here. He seeks permission to enter Santa Ruz. He seeks an audience with you. Could it be? Do you think Elliewood's come to ask of his father? If that's the case, I know not what to tell him. Tell him you know nothing. Let him be on his way. Yet, I know young Elliewood well. His father, Elbert, and I are old friends. I've no children of my own, and I've always treasured... Elliewood, I do not believe I can look him in the eye, and uh, I, uh, I cannot lie to him. I cannot. See, I just cleared my throat as I was talking like an old dude. That's that's Strats right there. We've no choice then. Let us chase the boy away. If you do not speak with him, you need tell no lies. Wait, do you mean harm, Elliewood? Not harm. Fright. A scratch or two will leave no scars. He will run home to Foray and be done with his adventure. He's after all, 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 all that Foray has left. <laughs> oh. Alright, here we rolling up. There's Marcus. Still not going to be using any weapons with this dude. Instead of entering Laos with such a small group, we should meet with Marquis Santa Ruse and request his assistance. See the sense, isn't that? It's a good plan, Bobby. Surely so. I tell you again, I'm pleased to have you with us. Lord Hellman. He's not only my father's friend. I've known him since I was a child. I'm sure that he will help us. What? Lord Ellie would beware. What's going on here? Some guys with some pokey sticks? Oh, that dude looking a little chubby. <laughs> Noble sirs, alms for a poor villager. Poor villager. You look nothing like an honest man. So judgmental. Marcus is a judgmental dude. Clear the road. Step quickly or... Step quickly? Look how thick I am, dude. I can't step quickly. <laughs> Good advice. Maybe it's you who should follow it. What? Someone wants the boy in an early grave. A shame, if you ask me, but he'll die here today. Well, oh, boy, is that on your key? <laughs> Alright, let's get to fighting. Oh, why is there like 30 guys? Alright, Darkus. I first lost. Our man's back, though. Here we go. Oh, here we go again. Hey, Bobby. Just like old times. Seems our fates are bound. Natalie, oh, she's still in for her. I'm working for you this time, so she's not too worried. She knows I'm a good boy. She knows Robbie's a good boy. Or Bobby, my bad. Forgot I was named Bobby. I'm going with my ex, Bobby. <laughs> oh, okay, there's no uh, character select. Well, let's use Loan and uh, see, you know, uh, what. The vendor has here. Vulnerities? Okay. Uh, I really don't care about vulnerities. Uh, I guess we can use Marcus to check out the village. Because he's kind of. We're not using him. <laughs> you look like 
You've some experience with battle. No need to conceal it. I fought in many amount of my time, I assure you. Let me tell you a thing about combat, oh young man. <laughs> the most important thing is technique. It's all in the hips. If you've no skill, you'll rarely strike your enemy. My instructor gave me this secret book long ago. It will improve the fighting prowess of the one who reads it. I'm too old to make use of it, so why don't you take it? We got a secret book. That's great. Uh, pretty sure that's great. Um, however... Can I see what... Can I see what you're carrying, dude? I can't see his items right now. Oh, I'm pretty sure houses are pointless. So we will not go to the house. Uh, axe dudes. Let's see. Let's keep Dorcas and this dude right by each other. So... Let's make sure this guy doesn't have anything crazy. Actually, let's make sure everyone doesn't have anything too crazy. Iron axe. Iron bow. Everyone just has iron weapons. No, no, like, lance reavers or anything that will screw us over. Let's see. You have the steel axe? Great. And Barter will be your buddy. Let's just keep the iron axe on him. Elliewood. Might as well visit the house. Let's see. It's really important to trust your companions, yes. If you have a boon companion, fight. What is a boon companion? At your side, you feel stronger and more confident. <laughs> Who do I think make good companions for whom? Well, I am a fortune teller, so I could do a reading, but... You little biatch. You aren't telling me nothing I want to hear. Uh, let's see. Axeman. Closest dude near is an Axeman, so... Uh, but... Yeah. We'll just... Equip that and chill. And... Of course have... This is Rebecca, right? I'm trying to remember, it's been a while. Rebecca with a bow. Taking up the rear. Oh, pff. I am so sorry, Barter. You don't have animations on. How bizarre. Let me double check how I have animations. Uh, forgot where to do it. Animation. Oh. Oh. That's a little weird. Must have messed up the settings at some point. Um, we'll turn them off for Marcus here. Whoopsie, that was a big oopsie. Alright, we're going to have to have Lowen go out with the Lance, probably. Zero times two, that's a pretty safe, that's a pretty safe battle to take. No damage. Rebecca get over there to help him? No, nope, she cannot. Um, are these guys gonna traverse the mountain? Looks like they probably will. So, let's, uh... Yeah, let's... Let's use Elliewood to finish this guy. So, Dorcas, help him out. Wow, Dorcas could take 11 from this guy. Okay, good job. That's a lot of damage. Dorcas is pretty pretty squishy, but he has that high health pool. Ow. Alright. You guys will bro it up right there. There we go. Gotta get that XP. I accidentally didn't save um, at the end of the last chapter, so I redid it off screen. So that's probably... I think that's why I had the animations off, probably. I was just trying to get through that real quick. But I tried to do everything the same way I did before. Hopefully I did. I think I might not have, though. So, looking a little sus, huh? Wow. Alright. This little weak swordsman. Gonna be hurting Dorcas over here. Making Dorcas look like a fool. Uh, yep, we're gonna take that. Take that fight every day. Let's see. What does this guy have? Iron sword. Do I need any of that right now? 
I don't, I don't need any of that right now. For sure I don't. Alright, chill right there. And we can chill on the fort. Actually, I should have put Dorcas on the fort. Oh, bad strats. Bad, bad, bad strats. Alright. There's one, two, three, four, five guys up here. Uh, let's see. Let's see what Lowen can do. Actually, if I just put him out there, he'll probably die. But if I put him on this uh, bush here, I get the feeling he's going to be okay. So, <laughs> yeah, I believe. We're going to go with an I believe right there for our dude. I can bring Rebecca up to... She should be fine right here. Yeah, yeah, we're chilling. Uh, where the heck is Marcus? What are you doing, old man? Alright. <laughs> it's a good fight for a pampered double pump. It's up to me to finish this. What's my goal here? To kill a thick dude? I think that's my goal. He's mobile, though. Really gonna go straight for the guy on the fort and really hit with 47 hit. Alright. See what you're working with. Looks like they're trying to come through the mountain. Ooh, he's gonna hit twice with the steel lance. That's great, Lowen. Maybe I'll give Lowen that skill book. Oh, yes. They stand no chance. Let's, uh, we're gonna go through the steel lance quick. Just have another dude up here. That's fine, it's like three damage. Okay, what's on Ali? What's mine? How many are there? This looks. What? Oh, here we go, dude. Heck yeah. Hey, what's going on over. Oh, how do I want to talk like Hector? I want to sound cool. Hey, what's going on over there? It looks like some rough business. You, soldier, are you just going to stand there and watch? Who, who do you think you are? This is Santa Roos. What occurs here is no affair of any foreign lordling. I believe I'm gonna have to disagree with you. I probably don't sound cool at all, so forgive me. Uh, the man they're attacking happens to be a friend of mine. A friend? What? Oh, oh, I just killed that dude. Or actually killed that dude. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. He, uh, he did, oh, oh he did that dude dirty. Ooh, that's terrible. I love violence. Nicely done, my lord. I think I was talking like a kind of a redneck with Matthew. Uh, let's see if I can. Night, uh, night. <laughs> Nicely, no, no. Nicely done, my lord. You're a fighting fighter, barn. Who's this dude? I cannot condone resorting to force so quickly. Chastise me later, Oswin. First, we deal with these brigands. Come, we must help Ellywood. Help. Help Ellywood. Sounds like a convenient excuse for more violence. Oswin! Yes, yes, I'm coming. Matthew! I think Sarah and find some place to hide. What? With Sarah? Oh, no, I'm going with you! You are not. You'll slow us down. Oh, how rude. Oswin, let's go! They really dip. Oh, they really dipping. All right, I was gonna say, that's a lot of dudes to have. But heck yeah, let's go. Let's start smacking, smash, ooh. Let's start smashing these dudes in. I have to turn the animations on, dang it. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what? <coughs> I'm just gonna have everyone. It's on two. Everyone's on two. So, <clears throat> that works for me. Oh, we can hit this dude with something. Oh, yep. There you go, Oswin. Oswin, thick boy Oswin. Let's go. Let's have a Rebecca 1v1 this guy, I guess. Actually... <coughs> Still sick. Still hurts. Let's see, what can we do? 14? 
Oh no, come on, dude. I should have used the sword. What I should have done. And I believe, I believe in you, Ellie Wood. Go ahead and finish this dude up. Maybe I should have gotten an iron sword for Ellie Wood. So we're going through his rapier pretty quick, I think. Oh well, oh well. Um, and can the axe dudes hold him off? Can they hold the line? Let's see. Yeah, it'll be safer to turn at least. Fourteen. Nine damage. It'll be fine for a turn. Um... May or may not be fine for a turn. You know. You may or may not be okay. Alright, alright. Rebecca? Rebecca. Do I want you to back up the dudes down here? Because they're really coming down. I think I want you to back them up. But... Let's, uh, keep you near, because, yeah, they're going to need the backup here in a sec. Just someone to pick them off. There you go. Barter. You'll be okay. There you go. He's a fighter. And they're really stacking up right there. Yeah, Lowen. He's fine. They're <laughs> really stacked up right there. That's insane. Alright. Actually, why don't we get on that fort? Hit him with a sword. Probably our best chance. Eight damage. Um. Yeah, sword's our best chance. There you go. Right, let's get Oswin and Hector up a little closer. Hector's a little squishy. Not a whole lot of health. Um, so maybe I want to have... I don't know. I know Hector is strong. That axe he has is strong. For sure. Um, let's get... Let's get Rebecca right here. Kind of weaken this guy up for someone. There you go, level up with Rebecca. I'll take it. Becky will uh, take some XP. All right, I wanna do something crazy. I wanna do something crazy. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I say bring it on. Elliewood is uh, we're actually gonna, he's gonna be good. I remember using them back in the day, and I I didn't do things... What if I just put him in the way? <laughs> it's like a major, uh, major cuck. Not sure if that's a bad word or not. Probably. Okay, we'll just put him right there. And... We're gonna leave it like that and see how this goes. Yeah, I'm scared for the archer, actually. Have anything good? Just an iron bow. Alright. I moved up. Archer, yeah, okay. Four damage. He's gonna take the four damage. Come on, man. Okay, so he can get hit by an archer. Oh, the archer's gonna just... Be distracted with Marcus. Which is fine. Right, he he was able to move to a forest. <laughs> what a weird little battle though one is that <clears throat> over here against this archer. Okay. It's gonna take forever for Hector to get around. And even longer for Oswin to get around. Okay. Could probably take him out with Rebecca, huh? There you go. Rebecca getting some action. 
the day. I know she wants to get some of that action from Elliewood. If he gets hit, I'm gonna have to rescue him. Okay, good. And I know Dorcas, you got the hand axe. Carter has a hand axe, yeah. <laughs> Might as well try. Eh. We tried. That's all we got. Uh, yeah. That's all we got. We just gotta hope and pray. Elliewood will be okay. I think he will. You know, if he was smart, he would have attacked, let this guy get killed, and then attacked with his uh, with the dudes backing him up. Oh, they got mountain. Oh, yep, you're gonna regret that. We hit with that 38% chance. Okay, Lowen, lollygagging, taking out the archer. I thought it was gonna be quicker. There we go. Thing. See if we can debate the uh, swordsman to come back. I doubt it though. Uh, and press some hand axe on this guy. See if we can hit him again. Ooh, he actually did it. Are a little squishy. He only has 13 health left. I don't think he's in any danger though. But look, we got mountain on this guy. That he has a five chance to hit. There's no way he hits. Curses, what are you waiting for? Let me show you boys how it's done. There's no way he hits. There you go. That's what I thought, dude. Look how, like, he looks so fit uh, in the animation, but <laughs> in the, uh, for his character, he's so thick. And make sure he doesn't have a ranged weapon. You know, he's gonna not... Rebecca will be fine if he has a ranged weapon, right? Like for his attacking turn. Yeah. Five hit. There you go. Yep. Not happening. Not gonna happen, dude. That's perfect timing. We got the mountain right out from under him. He actually. Oh, okay. We'll we'll kill this dude real quick. Ooh, yeah, you would get the crit when you don't need it. Uh, this was not so easy as it seemed. Ah. Alright, we're... I think we're doing great with Elliewood. Level 5. Level 5. We're doing great. Now we just gotta take out this last dude. Can Hector make it in time to take out the last dude? Or die from the last dude, imagine. But it's gonna be Let's see, sword dude. Let's see, how bad is Dorcas gonna get? He can't even make it to him. So That's all I got right there. Would you rather go after a guy with no weapon or a dude with an axe? Two damage on a dude with an axe. Wolf Bale. Mm, we missed with the Wolf Bale, but... It's alright. It's alright, you know. Let's see if we can get a kill with, uh... With the man Hector here. Well, I'm not gonna get a kill, because... Can't do enough damage there. Gonna have to bring up Ellie Wood and finish him. There we go. Need to give that item to someone that's skill book, probably ASAP. Probably give it to Hector, because I think I've given two items to Elliewood already. Phew, is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? Well met, Elliewood. Yes, but what are you doing here? You wo you wound me. You wound me? Oh, I wound him, because I offended him? How do you mean? 
You're looking for your father, right? Why didn't you send word? Your brother was just named Marquis Alstia. He's going to be very busy setting up his court council. Lord Uther must need your support. You are his brother after all. My brother is not so weak. Oh, he has mentioned some things in public, but... He knew exactly what I was planning, and he let me go. Is that so? Well, then, it would be unwise to refuse his kindness. It does me good to see you, Hector. Thank you. Think nothing of it. Alright, you know Oswin, don't you? Well met, Lord Elliwood. It is good to see you again, Oswin. So you came as well. Yes, Lord Uther was worried about Lord Hector traveling alone. I've been ordered to keep a close eye on him. Of course. Good to have you with us. Lord Hector! Why didn't you tell me the fighting was done? I apologize for the interruption. I couldn't restrain her any longer. <laughs> are these your companions, Hector? Uh, yes. I suppose they are. One might have helped for better, but... <laughs> was uncalled for. I can't believe you said that. Matthew, do you hear what he said about you? Me? Me? He was talking about you. <laughs> I don't know why I talk like that with him. He doesn't even look like a redneck. Uh, or whatever. Like a southerner. <laughs> Hector, why don't you introduce us? That noisy one is Sarah. Believe it or not, she's a cleric. Yes, I am Sarah, my lord. Pleased to meet you. And that's Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around. My lord. Sneaking around. Well, I uh, uh, gather information. Open doors, chests, and such. I've got nimble fingers. Ooh, I think Ellie would like, like some of them fingers. It sounds like a thief's work. Well, don't let it worry. Don't let it worry you. But this journey, I suspect it will be harder than you imagined. You may have to accept things like this if you want to survive. What is it, Hector? Do you know something? Nothing specific. Rumors abound, though. A league of assassins from Burn has been moving around in Lycia. Experienced bounty hunters and mercenaries are vanishing. That reminds me. One of the men who attacked us said something odd. What was it? Lord Elliwood, if I may. Marcus, good to see you. Lord Hector, it's been far too long. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Come now, Marcus. No need for such formalities. Tell me what you heard. Of course, the apparent leader of that gang of thugs. He indicated that someone was watching Lord Elliwood. That someone needed him dead. Hmm. That is troubling. Actually, a captain of the guard was watching the fight when we arrived. Is that the dude that uh, Hector just straight slaughtered? He was a knight of Santa Rose. And yeah, he just stood there and let a lord be attacked. I think he was planning on seeing you die. Hey, what a bad man. So, Bobby, what do you think? I think you're doing great, Elliewood. Go find your daddy. Go be a good boy and help your daddy with whatever your daddy problems are. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you might be right. Something may have happened to Lord Hellman, too. Come, we must hurry to the castle. Elliot, who, who is this? This is Bobby. I require tactical aid in the search for my father, and... Oh, I see. So this is who directed the battle plan back there, huh? You know, Bobby, you're very young. I think I'm probably older than all these characters. We've many strategists in Alcia, but none so young. Elliot, are you sure about this one? Bobby is still a student of military strategy, but we've received nothing but sound advice so far. Tell that to Lynn. I got two of her friends killed. And Dorcas. Tell that to, to Dorcas. 
Abby has my trust. All right, I suppose. I shall witness your skills firsthand. Well met, Bobby. Huh. <laughs> Here's Matthew. Okay, he's like, ah, dude. Hello, how have you been, Bobby? Uh, my secret's revealed. Oh, that, yes, it's true. My guy, as a common thief, was but a ruse. I've served half on House Ostia for some time as a spy of sorts. Surprised? Well, regardless, it looks like we'll be traveling together again. Here's to our mutual survival. Eee! <coughs> God dang it. Bobby! <laughs> God dang it, I'm sorry, I'm dying here. Is it really you? It's been far, far too long. You missed me, didn't you? Of course you did. I knew it. <laughs> didn't I tell you before? In the employ of Ostia, this is ruling territory. I'll be here to help you just like before. Aren't you lucky? Uh, probably. I wouldn't consider myself lucky at that point. This point. Oh man. Well, that's uh, that's all we got for now. Uh, I will be uploading these much more frequent now that I'm caught up on Temtem, and I might get back into some Valheim. But uh, I think this is gonna be my main focus for now. So anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Hey, hey, hey.